Words that I say Downtown the lights out But we choose to stay I don't know where this may go These strangers know all the words that my souls I tell she loving us What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another vlog My name is Mikey Mance And if you're new to this channel Please hit that subscribe button After you watch this video Because I'm sure you're going to enjoy it You're going to have a good time Actually today's video is a little bit different It's kind of like a motivation to another video But uh, you'll understand that later Today I'm just going to vlog some stuff real quick And uh, I'm filming this on the day you guys are seeing this So good morning I hope you guys have a terrific Saturday I love you guys so much Thank you for clicking on this video And uh, you know we got the car over here The M4 for it's looking pretty nice in the sunlight so I might have to go take it for a spin but if you guys do not have me on snapchat I'm gonna have the Sun behind me if you guys do not have me on snapchat I suggest you add me because last night I did something really really stupid and you probably will find it really entertaining but basically I uh, I did something with this this gas cap right here this uh, little gas port gas hole I'm sure some of you guys will probably know about filling your own gas and some of you may not but basically, I'm from New Jersey where we have gas attendants that fill our tanks for us. Uh, all we do is tell them like how much we want. Like if you want $20, you give them $20 and say, uh, put in 20 regular or 20 premium or 20 plus or whatever, 20.93. It doesn't matter uh, what you say, they're, they're gonna do it for you. If there's a guy that does it for you, he gets paid to do it. Um, they make good money too, they make like $10 an hour to do so. Uh, you know, I'm so used to that. So coming to California with my car, I wasn't ready to you know be a big man and pump my own gas. So last night, I kind of proved that I'm really stupid and uh, I'm gonna insert my snapchat stories probably right here on the screen so enjoy those and then I'll talk to you about them afterwards so here you go she's a little dirty it's all good though yo so I just left the gas station and I fucking drove off I know I'm an idiot I know you can call me a dumbass. You can say that maybe I probably don't deserve this car because I'm this much of a dumbass, but I'm this tired that I just drove off with the gas pump in my fucking... I, I just... I don't know what to say, but... Um... Uh, um <laughs> what do I do? Uh... Uh. Alright, here's an update. I'm currently driving back to the gas station to explain that I am a dumbass and apologize and hopefully there's no fine for driving off with a gas pump inside of your car. Um, a cop passed me and didn't stop me. I don't, I mean, like, if I was a cop, I'd be doing my job and, like, helping someone out if they had a gas pump sticking out of the side of their car. But I guess not, so I'm currently going back to the gas station to apologize and bring back their gas pump. And hopefully there's not that big of a deal. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it's common. Hopefully people do it all the time. Um, but yeah, that that's a first for me. I've never done that before. I just bought two Red Bulls because that's how tired I am. So that, that explains it. But yeah, there's no excuse for being that much of a dumbass. So uh, yeah, um, bringing the gas pump back now. <laughs> Alright, last update, uh, I brought the pump back, they took down my information, but me and the homie ended up fixing the pump, so uh, that's good. The pump works now, so I'm still a dumbass, but he told me that a lot of people do it, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, uh, probably the dumbest shit I've ever done. Uh, I will learn not to be as tired when I pump my own gas. I'm not used to it. In New Jersey, we don't have to pump our own gas. We just hand our card or our money to somebody and they do it for us. So that's cool. But uh, yeah, being out here, I just kind of forgot that I was pumping my own gas. Went out to my car, got in it, drove away. There was a ton of people looking at me. And uh, before I stole the pump, of course. And then when I stole the pump, everybody was like, yo, that dude just stole the gas pump. So yeah, uh, definitely one of the stupidest experiences I've ever had. So hope you guys enjoyed watching it from my... All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed those stories. They were pretty long, but you guys can add me on Snapchat. I left my Snap code on the screen, so if you want, you could scan that little code and add me. I know Snapchat's super messed up for a lot of people. I'm, I don't have the new update, so I'm pretty happy about my life, but a lot of people hate their lives now because of the Snapchat update, and I kind of understand that because the Snapchat update is kind of trash. Um, anyway. I drove off with the gas pump inside my car. I don't know how I didn't hear that. I must be stupid or something because my exhaust is just too loud, I guess. And I didn't hear the gas pump driving behind my car. And I didn't notice it until about five miles later. I was like, wait, did I ever take the gas pump out of my car? Like, I just remember getting back in my car after I got some Red Bulls from the store. And uh, I was like, I didn't, did I? So I looked out. I thought maybe someone did it for me. You know, someone was the homie. Someone uh, took my gas cap out and, you know, or took the gas pump out of my tank and uh, put my gas cap on. So I look at my, my side view mirror and little do you know, I see the gas 
gas pump hanging out of the side of the car, dragging the hose with me. And I'm like kind of relieved for a second that like I didn't rip out my gas, my gas hole, like my, my uh, thing. I'm also relieved that I didn't set myself on fire or explode the gas station because I started my car with the gas pump still pumping gas. So I'm excited about that. I'm glad I didn't die from that one. So uh, that's two strikes that did not happen. That's pretty good. Other than that, I'm glad that I didn't injure anybody or no one ran over the hose as I was driving past them and ripped it out of my car, messed my car up. And uh, I'm glad that when I brought it back to the gas station, they didn't do anything crazy. They didn't like find me or anything. They were just kind of like, yeah, we just got to take down your information in case something's broken and then we'll give you a call, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, cool, blah, blah, blah. Did that all. And uh, you know, they were super cool. And then me and the homie Kevin who works there, he thought maybe he could fix it. So I was there with him and uh, he did all the work. I kind of just watched. I was kind of like a motivator, but he fixed it himself and uh, that was cool. So shout out to the homie Kevin and uh, we got that thing fixed. It's working, pumping gas. We tested it out. And uh, yeah, so that was that was definitely something different. Was not expecting that in my life. So I'm a big dumbass, but I'm gonna give you guys a cold start. of ear shattering for a cold start. I, I've never heard a cold start louder than that before besides like like a really old like Fox body Mustang or like something like that. And I've never heard a car pop as loud as this one besides one time I saw an R32 Skyline pop and it was insanely loud. It might've been an R32 or R34. I don't know how I mix those up. I just don't remember what it looks like. I just remember it was a Skyline and it was one of those, but um, I'm not a professional at spotting out R34s and an R32, I can't recall. I don't remember looking at it. So uh, it was the one from Need for Speed. So whichever one that was, uh, don't call me an idiot if you're a car guy and you know which one it was because I don't remember even watching that movie. I don't remember what it looks like, but yeah, it was that one. The thing popped so loud that it was blowing flames and it looked like, like, like gunshots, not actually like flames, but it was like sparks were flying everywhere. Like it was insane. But yeah, uh, that's the loudest car I've ever heard pop besides mine. So that's cool, I guess. I don't kind of, like, you know, like, <laughs> give me that achievement or whatever. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and I'm gonna bring you guys with me because I have nothing to vlog today. So we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna get to the point of the video. So I love you guys. Smash a like on this video and let's get it. Okay, so as I was just pulling out of the driveway to go get some hash browns from McDonald's, uh, I was pulling out and I looked in front of me at Tyler's house and I see one of Tyler's dogs running out of the neighbor's backyard, just running free. So I had to literally stop what I was doing. I stopped my car in the middle of the street, grabbed the dog, went to the backyard, found the hole and had to fix the hole real quick. So uh, that was definitely a different morning, but I feel like everything in my life just keeps getting weirder. You know, ripping gas pumps out of the walls, um, uh, you know, getting no views on YouTube. Things are just getting weird, man. I'm not used to this stuff. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys <laughs> are gonna enjoy the next video that I'm uploading and today's video, I hope you guys are motivated to see the next video. So uh, let's go get some hash browns and I'll explain it in a minute. All right, parking the whip right now. Just pulled up to this weird gas station, but if you walk through the gas station, it takes you to a McDonald's. So I'll show you guys that because it's kind of weird, even though you probably don't care, but you know, hey, that's me for you. All right, here we go. Boom, peep it. McDonald's. I don't know how the gas station got that deal, but whatever. Dang. What should I do? It's the morning. I don't know. I want to take it easy, but fuck it. I'm a coke addict. Dope. If you guys want to know what I got, I got three hash browns. That's what I eat for breakfast. Sick. <laughs> oh, my car looks so nice. I love it. It's really dirty right now. Don't hate on me. I know. I need to wash it, but I don't know where there's a self car wash, even though there is a car wash right there. But this one is not not something you just take through a normal car wash. Brushes will fuck the paint up. See what I'm talking about? They're staring at that hole. They're just trying to get out as bad as possible. Hey! Enough with that! All right, so let me just fast forward to the point of this video. If you guys can see the title, it says, I have a death wish, unless I changed it because it didn't do good. But yeah, the video title is, I have a death wish. That is because I am planning on going to the phase rug tunnel at three in the morning by myself for a whole hour and maybe fall asleep there. I might stay longer. Maybe I'll do a 24 hour challenge, but realistically, I don't think it'll be a 24 hour challenge. I think it'll be a one hour challenge before I either get, I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. So yeah, whatever happens, happens. Whatever stays in the phase rug tunnel stays in the phase rug tunnel. No, I'm kidding, I'm gonna put it on my channel, but yeah. 
the haunted tunnel is not to be messed with and we are gonna go and stay there and record ourselves there by ourselves I'm gonna prove to you guys that I'm going alone because my friends think I'm crazy but I don't give a f I'm trying to make a dope ass video for you guys so let me know smash a like on this video if you want to see that if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications and leave a comment afterwards and I will shout you out in my next video today's shout out goes to this person right here on the screen I love you guys thank you for watching and uh, tune into my next video because it might be my death wish coming true so oh and don't forget I've got new merch out on my website so uh, it's not this but this is still available I'm pretty sure and we got the the mamps across the chest uh, rainbow spaceship it's still available on my website so head over there and go cop it and uh, I will shout you guys out my videos as well so hurry up I love you guys hopefully there will be a next video hopefully this video goes as planned I know a lot of you don't want to see me get hurt but drop a like anyway if you want to make me happy and then hopefully you know I won't get hurt so uh, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one I'm out deuces her body's go like September she burns through the night like an ember and all those things we try forgetting I remember but we say we all fine we all fine sunny day dreams and we up now if I can lemonade I serve it up